Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm going to talk about um, five businesses that you should not actually start in this particular year, 2021. So as you know, uh, we are um, going through a pandemic year. Uh, last year was a pandemic year and that's continuing in this year as well. So obviously because of the pandemic, um, a lot of businesses have shut down. And a lot of people have been displaced from their work. Uh, so um, so the, if you go by prudence, sheer prudence, um, you should actually avoid certain kinds of businesses or should avoid making mistakes that people have made in the past year and uh, in the first four or five months of this particular year. So. So I thought I should. Um, so so this is kind of a, 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 a video for you to be a little bit alert. And I thought I should share this video with you so that you at least know that you should avoid um, uh, getting into businesses which are fraught with a lot of challenges. And hence, um, uh, please, um, please uh, exercise greatest caution. Uh, and I don't really want any one of you to be in any kind of problem, especially if you're starting your business uh, from scratch, new businesses. So uh, before we dive in, please subscribe to my channel, please uh, like my videos, please smash that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. And please share my videos. Please send it to those people who are starting off so that they know that uh, these are the potential businesses that sh they should uh, award uh it's getting into at this point in time so uh let's begin so the first business i would say is a limousine business so you obviously this is very very um obvious that people around you are not traveling people around you even the richest the rich people are not really going out that much and uh, hence, uh, the the need for livers in service is going to be pretty, pretty uh, low. So um, it is not really, uh, there is no real sense to start a, a business in limousines and buy those new big cars and you don't have anybody to drive them uh, around in. So, uh, so um, be cautious don't get into that business i not i'm not saying that uh, you should not get into this business at a later point in time when things are uh, almost back to normal like before um, but at this point in time starting a limousine business anywhere around the world uh, unless you already have a business I, it doesn't actually make any sense to do that the second part second business is that of again similar traveling so travel agents so again because of covid um not many people are really traveling people are traveling on, only when there is a need or a real necessity um and um hence people are obviously not going in for those package tours to different places you know uh the you know, the the to to go for they're not going for those uh, river rafting, uh, skydiving, bungee jumping, jumping out of the airplanes, uh, or traveling to various other uh, exotic locations. They're not doing all of that, so it's not really uh, any. It's not really sensible to start a business in travel agency. I know of a, of many travel agency agencies which have actually shut shop uh, over the past year and a half. So, so second uh, business not to start is of a travel agency business. Third business is again, even planning. Obviously, again, um, there's not, there are not too many events that are happening around everything. All that you see around is uh, virtual uh, and people are happy to get into uh, Microsoft Teams or Zoom or, or Google uh hang out or uh, google meetup meet um video conferencing and even the events even the discussions even the interviews uh all of that 
are happening online. Products are being launched uh, virtually on the internet space through um, those video conferencing tools. So um, if you were planning to get into uh, event as a business, event management, please don't do that, that at this point in time. There are some weddings that are happening though in some parts of the world. You can probably get into doing that, but I would, I would ask you to be a little more cautious uh, because we don't know how many weddings are really happening around in different cities. I don't have a figure. Uh, so uh, if you are planning to be a, a wedding uh, organizer, uh, look around in your city. If that's really working out, then please go ahead and do that. Uh, but uh, you know, on a larger scale, even management and even planning are not something which you should actually get in at this point in time. Fourth is, again, uh, nightclubs. So again, for, for similar reason, um, pretty much all around the world, nightclubs are, are, are shut. Um, U.S. is opening up at this point in time because uh, um, a majority of the population have been vaccinated. Um, so maybe you might have nightclubs starting off in Vegas and uh, in uh, Atlantic City or in other places around in, in the U.S. Uh, but um, you should really avoid getting into this business. I know uh, in Singapore, maybe a lot of nightclubs also have gone uh, bankrupt. Um, the, the, the comments wanted to open them up and then they... And again, there was a second uh, wave of virus, so they shut them, shut them down. So obviously, um, nightclubs is not a business that you should really plan to get into at this point in time. Um, the fourth is salon. Now, this is a little bit of a, um, you know, yes and no kind of a, uh, an option. Uh, salon business. In some cities, um, I mean, women still need to go to the salons, right? So, uh, so some in some cities, salons are open uh, with restricted um, people who could uh, come in. Uh, but those are established salons, so they already have made their mark. They have their own set of clientele who keep coming back to their um, to their uh, shop. But if you are the one who is looking to uh, start now at this point in time, I would suggest that you don't. So you stay away from this business as well, at least for the moment. But I can assure you that this business uh, will be uh, back. Um, in fact, all these five businesses uh, will be back uh, once this, this particular pandemic uh, is over, or if not, the majority of the world's population is vaccinated and they are uh, pretty much safe to go out and um, you know, roam around, do their work as usual, as we used to do uh, in the pre-COVID uh, 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 period. So, so that's that's what I had to share with you. So it's kind of a caution video for all of you, so that you, I don't want you to again uh, make a mistake and get into such businesses where you could potentially suffer. And that's why I made this uh, particular video uh, on the card above. I will. A link my video on uh, how to start a business uh, with zero investment. I keep stressing on this video because that's a key video uh, where you can start without start putting in literally any money and you can do it right from your uh, home uh, and you don't have to invest in, uh, you know, in renting out places, shops and, uh, and buying big cars and all of that. Uh, and hence, I would recommend that you, you watch that particular video of mine and hope that will give you some uh, direction to what kind of businesses you really would want to uh, get in at this point in time. So uh, uh, my best wishes to you. Good luck. So take care and then um, keep wearing your mask, get yourself uh, vaccinated and take care of your family. So uh, that's it, guys. So my name is Saurabh Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology and marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. I will uh, link my LinkedIn URL in the description down below. Please go ahead and uh, connect with me. Uh, if you're looking to uh, engaging me as your consulting for, for your company or startup, please drop me a line on LinkedIn and I shall 
uh, respond to you soon. Uh, until then, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos. Please uh, smash that notification bell. And please share my videos with people who you think uh, would get benefited from this particular uh, video of me. Until then, take care and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.